So, the Ninjago Dragons Rising sets were revealed, like, a couple days ago, and I have thoughts on them, so let's- <laughs> In last place is Nia and Aaron's Baby Dragon Battle. This is just a 4 plus set, so it's not great, but it is a good way to get Nia and Aaron. Uh, not much to say after that, so let's move on. <laughs> yeah, next is Kai and Raz's Car and Motorcycle Battle. Another 4 plus set, though I like this one much more, as I think the figures are a lot better than the last one, and the price is more reasonable. <laughs> Next up is the gimmick sets. Uh, Nia's is my least favorite, Lloyd's in the middle, and Kai's is my favorite. I really love the figures in all three of these, but the play features seem a little boring and uninspired. <coughs> Alright, now onto the real sets. Here we have Lloyd and Aaron's Ninja Team mechs. I usually love these big mech sets, but this just ain't it. Lloyd's mech is ugly and looks kinda dumb. I do like Aaron's mech, but it doesn't justify the $80 price tag. There's also no exclusive minifigures, so I'll definitely be passing on this one. <coughs> Here we have Sora's Transforming Mech Bike Racer. I think that this would be a really good set if it was maybe $35, but it is $48. <coughs> that is terrible. Also, I'm really not a big fan of the wheels sticking out of the front. It looks kind of dumb. The minifigures aren't exclusive either, so I'll probably only be getting this set if it goes on sale. <coughs> now, this I like. The Imperium Dragon Hunter Hound is a perfect $20 set in my opinion. Two ninja, a villain, and a pretty good build. The, the, the beast gets a little skinny in the middle, but overall, I think this is a really good set for $20. Ah! Zane's Dragon Power Spinjitsu Race Car may be the worst name of a set ever. In the comments, I dare you to find a set with a worse name. I'll be checking. Anyways, I don't have much to say about this set. I think the build is really cool, the play feature is cool, and the figures are great. Very good set. Ah! The Elemental Dragon vs. the Empress Mech would be a 10 out of 10 set for me if it weren't for the price tag. You see, this set is $130. Really puts the mental in elemental. <laughs> I hate myself. Anyways, this set's great. I love the dragon build. It's beautiful, and also the mech looks very good. Figures are great. Overall, great set. Stupidly high price. <laughs> in the number four spot, we have the Destiny's Bounty Race Against Time. This set is magnificent. I love the new design of the bounty, and the concept of the dragon head being an actual dragon that can come out and fly around is something really cool and refreshing. I also kind of like that there's no exclusive figures, though the reuse of Korwu is kind of lame. Overall, this is a very nice set, and I don't have a Destiny's bounty, so I'll definitely be getting this one. Top 3. Here, we've got the Heatwave Transforming Lava Dragon. I don't have much to say about this set, I just really love it. The figures are great, the build is great, the gimmick is honestly hilarious, and the color scheme is one of the best. This has quickly become one of my favorite dragons, and I cannot wait to get it. In the number 2 spot, we have the Temple of the Dragon Energy Cores. This set is gorgeous. The tall building, the enormous tree, it's all amazing. I also love the minifigures and how we actually get an exclusive one in here with the spirit of the temple. I absolutely love this set, but now there's only one remaining. Remember when Ninjago was the only thing on the map? And my favorite Dragon's Rising set is... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but that is a great poly bag. No, my favorite set is Ninjago City Markets. Need I say more?